morning, darling. Good morning. Happy first Thanksgiving in our new home. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what are you doing up so early, hmm? Well, at the moment, I'm trying to arrange the flowers, and then I'm going to check to make sure that all the silver is polished, and then I'm going to try to set the table and supervise things in the kitchen, and hopefully I'll have everything under control before Lee and Gail get here. Audrey, Thanksgiving is supposed to be a holiday, not a marathon. Oh, I know, but I love doing it. Special days take special attention, just like special people. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm, same to you, darling. Oh, something already smells good in the kitchen. Oh, yes, Anne has that turkey stuffed in the oven already. Remarkable. What is she now? Out playing football with Tommy. Oh, Audrey, I know you have a lot to do, but do you mind if I interrupt your busy morning to say something? No, of course not. Go right ahead. No, no, I want you to stop what you're doing. Hey, come on, turn around, look at it. That's better. Now I'll say it. Yes? I just want you to know how grateful I am to be sharing a life with you and Tommy. Oh, darling. I'll never be too busy to listen to things like that. And I share those sentiments. I am the happiest and luckiest wife and mother in the whole world. I'm just sorry Jeff can't be with us today. And the other two, of course. Oh, yes, so but, but I'm glad that he'll be spending the day with Rick and Leslie. Oh, no, no, darling, that's all changed. No, Jeff called me from the hospital while he was shaving to wish us a happy Thanksgiving. And since Heather is helping Diana now, they're going to be having dinner at the Taylor's. Oh, well, that should be a very happy household today. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank heaven Beth's accident wasn't too serious. And now that Diana is home with PJ, she has so much to be thankful for. Hmm? I just feel so helpless sitting here having you do all the work. Just enjoy it. Well, there's still something I can do. So I have everything under control. Mm. You know, I just wish that Jeff didn't have to work today. You know, he left the apartment at 6.30 this morning. Oh, well, let's just hope he makes it for dinner. Incidentally, is there anything I can do in the kitchen to help out? No, you were going to take it easy all day long. In fact, when Peter and PJ come back from their walk, I'm going to take over so that you can have some time alone with Peter. Oh, Diana, you don't know how much I've enjoyed being here and helping out with things. Heather, I'm always going to be very, very grateful to you. I'm just sorry you had to give up your job at the hospital. Oh, don't be. You know, Dr. Hardy was so understanding about giving me a leave. And he knew that I was going to leave that job in a few months anyway. You know, I really do consider you one of my closest and dearest friends, Heather. Almost like a sister. Well... You know how I feel about you, Diana, and your family. Yeah, I do. No one has done as much for us as you have. Well, it's a pleasure doing things for people that you like. <laughs> What's wrong? Well, nothing. It's just the phone. Oh, I know. It just stole me. That's all. Hello? Heather? Yes. How are you feeling this morning, honey? Better, Mom. Thanks. Much better. Well, I'm so relieved to hear that. I mean, I, I was really worried about you when you left here yesterday. Oh, I'm fine, Mom, honestly. Well, that's good. Uh, did you give Jeff that message from, uh, you know who? No. Uh, why not? Because I didn't, and you know why. Well, I also know that someone at the hospital could tell him that they gave you the message to give him, or, or Jameson could himself. Now, what if he tells Jeff that he left him a message from Buffalo? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> well, you had better know, young lady. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Oh, boy, have I heard that before. Look, are you alone? I mean, can you talk? No, I I'd rather not. So, um, how's everything there this morning? Well, the house is dead quiet. I mean, everyone is still asleep. Sexually satisfying to you as other women you have known. Leslie, you told me this question was about money. I didn't want to have to say it. 
But I can understand why you would ask a question like this with everything that we've been going through. But it, don't you realize there's no way I can make a comparison like that? I mean, even if I wanted to. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's too late. Yeah, well, I can give you one answer, and that's about the relationship as a whole. And the sex is a major part of it. Leslie, I... I married you because I wanted to share every area of my life with you. For better or worse, I think that's what he said. I got married a year ago. And honey, a BJ for me. Thanks. I, I hope you have a nice day, too. Bye. Oh, happy Thanksgiving, Dr. Weber, and many, many more. Thank you. Looks like it's a nice day. It is a perfect November day. When I was a little girl, the first thing I did on Thanksgiving or on Christmas was to run to the window and see what kind of a day it was outside. Because if the sun was shining, that meant the holiday was going to be really special. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, you've got the sun today, so it's off to a good start. <laughs> Would Dr. Weber be down soon? I thought he was down here. Uh, no, he isn't here. Oh. Well, I guess, uh, maybe he went to the hospital to do his rounds. Well, I am fixing a very special breakfast for all of you. Oh, that's lovely. Could you wait until he gets back? Oh, sure. He was gone when I woke up. He probably wanted to get his rounds over with early. Yeah, so he could be here with his wife and his daughter. You know, I have never seen anyone as devoted a husband and father as Dr. Weber. <laughs> Would you like me to get your tea now? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Okay, it won't be a minute. Jesse, I'm going to discontinue all medication on Mr. Wagner, but I want you to be sure that he has a very light diet. All right, of course, you know he's going to grumble about not having turkey and all the fixings today. Better a grumble than gastritis. Right. Didn't expect to see you this early, Mick. Oh, neither did my patients. I didn't sleep very well last night, and I uh, decided I'd get an early start today, so I didn't fight a losing battle with my pillow. This way, I have a little more time with Laura and Leslie in the afternoon. Well, look who's up and around with the rest of us early birds. This is quite a surprise. Well, it shouldn't be, haven't you heard? Dedication is the key to success. Yeah, well, if early hours have anything to do with it, I should be a huge success any moment now. Look, you're going to be able to get out of here by dinner. I think Leslie has it planned between 5.30 and 6. Oh, Rick, I meant to try and get a hold of you. Heather called a little while ago and... Well, since she's going to be helping Diane with the cooking and all, we're not going to be able to make it. We'll have dinner with Peter and Diana so she can help the dishes and stuff afterwards before we leave. Jeff, I'm very disappointed. I, I know Leslie will be, too. Yeah, well, Heather said she'd call us right away and say how sorry we were. Look, can you stop by for a drink? I don't see how. I'm here all day, and if I get hit with any kind of an emergency at all, I'll... Well, I won't even be able to make it to the tailors for dinner. I'm sorry, I really am. No, that's all right, I understand. I, it was just very important to me to try to get as many of the family together today as possible. Yeah. We'll, have, we'll do it in the future. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Listen, give Leslie and Laura my love, okay? I will, I will. All right. See you later. Right. Jeff! What's happening with Cal Jameson? Oh, well, you heard that I got another call from him, didn't you? Yeah, well, when are you going to see him again? Oh, who knows? But the guy sounds like he's, he's running scared, terrified that I'm going to call the police in him. But he's holding all the cards right now, so I've got to go along with whatever shots he calls. Whenever he calls. Doesn't sound like a very dependable type, does he? No, no. I don't even know where he is, and he won't ever say. But he said to come prepared to do business the next time he called. I just hope he follows through this time so I can get whatever information he has on Stephen Lars, if any. What about all that money he wanted? 
Well, I'm just going to have to tell him that I couldn't get the cash together on such short notice, and I'm going to offer him a check. And if he doesn't have any information, I'll, I'll just cancel it. What if he doesn't buy that? He just wants cash. Well, then I'll have to make some demands of my own. Like get some indication as to what this information is all about before I hand over money I don't really have. Jeff, if you need money, it's there. I can get it from savings. If there's the slightest possibility your son is alive, I want you to pursue that. Thanks, Thanks. Rick. Yeah, yeah, I, I appreciate it. And I might just have to take you up on it, but not before I'm damn sure he knows something. He's not going to con me out of that kind of money, which Heather's convinced he's still trying to do. How is Heather taking it these days? Well, I tried to keep as much of it from her as possible, but I finally had to be completely honest with her about the death certificate being a forgery and, well, Jameson's last call. I mean, she asked me point blank. I couldn't lie to her. You made the right decision. Honesty is always the best one. Anytime there's any kind of secret or deception between two people that are married, it's like a cancer that kind of eats away at the center of what marriage is. Sorry, I uh, didn't mean to make this conversation a sermon. Huh? Hey, come on, come on. Hmm? I agree with every word of it, Rick. Hmm. Hmm. Listen, have a good day. Huh? Yes, thank you. I will do it in the future, all right? You betcha. And you give all our love to Heather. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.